Hello beautiful people, Shane here. Um, got these two knives on the table today. What I want to talk about is blade steel and the differences in blade steels from different companies. Um, this is the Hogue Deca in 20CV. This is the Spyderco Maddox 2 in 20CV. The reason I have these two out is because there's a pretty stark difference in the performance of these two knives, um, even though they come in the same blade steel. Um, they, like I said, they're both in 20CV. However, the fine edge um, cutting on this knife and how that is tested by Mr. Gerald at Outpost 76 and two other independent testers, Super Steel Steve being one of those, is they cut uh, cardboard with it. They record how many feet of cardboard it cuts before it stops shaving hair. That's your fine edge test. Um, you know, this one, the Hogue cut about a, I think it was around 140 feet before it, um, before it quit shaving hair. And then it cut about another 180 feet before it quit cleanly cutting paper. For a total of around 320 feet total cutting um, before dull. In other words, you know, it'd be before you may need a uh, heavy strop or even possibly resharpen. However, the Spyderco cut about 180 feet uh, fine edge and then continued to cut another 360 feet, I think it was, uh, working edge, which pushed it to over 500 feet total cutting before dull. How is that, you say? They're both, uh, you know, they're both 20 CV. Well, not only that, when Gerald does them, he actually, uh, you know, sharpens them to the exact same angle um, does the exact same strop method with the exact same microns of, of diamond paste um, to, make the, to make the test as fair as possible. Where this gets very interesting, guys, um, you know, is over 300 feet enough you know, for an EDC knife? Sure it is. Is over 500 feet even better? Hell yeah, it is. Absolutely. Um, that's why I have uh, begrudgingly became a Spyderco fanboy is because of the quality heat treat. What is interesting is when you look at that chart and you start to look at the same steels <clears throat> coming from Chinese manufacturers. And what is happening is you are being ripped off. You're, you're paying for a super steel that does not perform like a super steel. What I mean by that? Well, I mean that um, if you would like, you can message me on Instagram. I will send you the chart or I can just send you screenshots of where a Rat One made in Taiwan with Aus 8 blade steel outcuts most of your expensive Riot, Best Tech, whatever M390 on the market. That's just the truth because they do a baby shit soft heat treat, um, which makes, in my opinion, a shit pocket knife. Um, you know, these are knives, these are cutting tools. If you buy them to play with and flippy floppy, you know, fidget, that's fine. I don't mind fidgeting every now and then myself. Um, you know, and on that particular knife, I, I, I guess I don't care if it cuts either because it's not really a knife. Um, you know, these are really knives because uh, they come with good steels. They come with a quality heat treat. You're getting what you pay for. And that's awesome that you're getting what you pay for. What is uh, insane to me, and I'll never understand it, is that, you know, this knife, and you've also got the option of the new uh 15V coming out in the Manix 2 for about $156. And I guarantee you that knife is going to out, it's going to cut two to three times any Chinese made knife that you own. So if you are really a knife person, a cutting tool person, and you care about that kind of thing, why would you be stupid enough to pay $300 or more for a knife with a, uh, with a shit heat treat and they know that and they don't care because they've created a hot train and you're going to buy it. Um, that makes you feel dumb. I'm sorry. It made me feel dumb when I found out I was doing it. I'm just here to bring you guys the truth. Like I said, if you want to see these charts or if you just want to message me about your knife or the company you know, or your favorite company, and, uh, I'll be glad to take some screenshots and, and send you the test results. And possibly even send you the test result of something a whole lot better that cost a lot less money. Um, so anyway, guys, that's all I got for you guys today. Appreciate any amount of time y'all spend with me. Peace. Love y'all.